how to draw the Bohr-Rutherford diagram for oxygen. The first thing you need for a Bohr-Rutherford diagram is the number of protons and neutrons. Oxygen has eight protons. The number of protons is always the same as the atomic number. The number of neutrons that oxygen has is the atomic mass, which you can get from your periodic table, is about 16 and I have to take away however many protons I had, which in this case was 8. 16 minus 8 gives me 8, and there also happen to be 8 neutrons in an oxygen atom. Put a little circle around it, that's your nucleus. Now, you need 8 electrons around the edge of it, or in the shells around the nucleus, I should say. You're allowed up to 2 in this first shell. 1, 2. You're allowed up to eight in each shell after that. Now I don't need another eight. I already have two here. I only need six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And this, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight electrons, good. This is my Bohr-Rutherford diagram for oxygen. Notice that I put electrons individually for the first four and then doubled it up. That's just a convention that we have for Bohr-Rutherford diagrams. If you're looking to draw the Bohr-Rutherford diagram for an element with an atomic number greater than 20, you're going to have to do it in a little bit more of a difficult way. Check out my other video for that. Best of luck!